I want to say something that I didn't have time to say uh, this morning in my lecture, and this is what's going to happen next with the whole uh, vaccine exemption phenomenon. Here's what's really going to happen next, especially in California. Now we have this AB2, AB277, it's about to be voted on, and that will abolish the whole philosophical exemption from vaccines in the state of California. The result will be, if you are uh, parents of a young child and you're sort of on the fence and you don't want to vaccinate your child, the only option you will have once they pass that law will be the medical exemption. So here's what's going to happen. When a medical, when a medical doctor signs a, a vaccine exemption for you, he writes on a piece of paper, I hereby exempt this child from vaccines because vaccines may be harmful to his health or dangerous or harmful to his health or damaging to the immune system. The MD signs it, that's a medical exemption, it's good for permanently, right? But here's, what's, here's, what's, here's why that's not going to happen. Because, first of all, every time a pediatrician does that, he's doing something detrimental to his practice. He's getting rid of a patient that he would otherwise have for 18 years, right? So how motivated are they going to be to do that in the first place? But the second thing, I got to tell you this, this has happened to me three times in the last few months. I've talked to medical doctors who were signing medical, exem were signing medical exemptions for people who wanted them, and suddenly they got this letter from the insurance group that they were part of, something like this. Dear doctor, it has come to our attention that there have been a significant number of medical exemptions coming through your office. This is to inform you that if this continues, we are going to have to drop you from our plan. So this is what the future of vaccine exemptions is looking like in California. This is what I foresee. So what a lot of people who are on the fence, you know, young parents who are, you know, this is the first time they're going to be making this decision, suddenly they're going to be con confronted with all this opposition, all this trouble, and they're not even so sh sure about it themselves because they're just learning about it. They're just going to roll over and vaccinate, which is exactly what they want. So it's going to be the illusion of exemptions, but on an everyday practical level, it, it will almost be as though vac uh, vaccine exemptions have disappeared. That's the real problem.